Hey, guess what, uh, everybody? Oh, shit, did my game crash? Fuck, I think it did. Um, look. T. We have T. I did it. I, I got to, Yes. Yes. I, I hope that you won some dicks off the back of that one. It's been a while since we've had some tea, but I'm back with tea. My my wife got me an egg sandwich, which I'm grateful for. She also got me a Jersey Wonder, which I'm grateful for. Man, so good. And uh, what else did she get me? Some palm bears. Man, I love those things. They're so good. Peach punch? No, it's not peach punch, sadly. Where did we get this book from? Oh, shit. Put this down with me, right? So, um, we can go back into the caves and do some, um, some stuff. We need to get some more XP, I guess. We've done, we've done the enchant, right? On the shovel. Oh, yeah, the shovel enchant. That's right. We didn't name our shovel anything either. Maybe it's time we give the shovel a name. What are we going to call this one? Uh, Darlene. Nice. Okay. Darlene it is. We need even more stuff now. We got a named shovel. Charlene, Darlene, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Peter Pennywhacker, Dennis, Diane, Gary. Oh, man. The naming conventions. Out of this world. Just out of this world. The Penny, Peter Whacker, Penny, Panty Whacker. What the hell, Thunder? Panty Whacker. You can't say that. It's disgusting. Jeez. Gross. Ew. Oh my god. Yuck. Okay. Shield is still in good shape here too. Um, and uh, we're ready to go back down? Thunder's still not a mod. Wait. Is Thunder still not a mod? Wait, did I give Thunder VIP though? I think I did, right? Thunder, did you get VIP or nothing? No, don't. What about body pen? Speezilla. Where's Thunder? He's not even in the chat anymore. He's probably too busy eating some, eating some yogurts and stuff. Oh, nice. God, that's fucking really good. You gotta love that, eh? No? Maybe? Alright. <clears throat> Are we going back or what? Fucking... Yeah, we're going back for sure, right? Uh, before we go back, though... Where did I put all those torches? Did I leave them down here? Yeah, I did. Was that the minecart leaving? Because I didn't press the button that time. Okay, no, it wasn't. Thank God. Uh, all right, let's go. We're going back down into the mines. Did I have tea? Yeah, I, did. I brought back some tea. Yeah, I got it. This is my favorite time of the year as a child. I liked around like Halloween, leading up to Halloween as a kid. The weather was always like really nice and I don't know, I just like the colder weather. It's just better. It's just good. It's just nice nice and good. Okay, um great. Oh, shit, I didn't bring any fucking god fucking Okay, so that's that side pretty much done, right? We're like strip mining, but those caves are too far. They were fun while they lasted, but we'll start doing another We'll do another strip, I guess. Or maybe we should just go on the horse again and ride around the stupid map. Try to find, like, a water biome or something. Grow the map. Ah, fuck. Let's just do some mining. And then we can, um, we can continue on with the, with the sorting stuff then. We've got enough iron now to get way more hoppers, so we'll just get some more... We need to grab some diamonds too, actually. Our, we're, our supply of diamonds is getting a bit low now, isn't it? Ocean temple or a jungle temple? Wait, there's there's jungles? 
and temples crazy this I did not know it's nice and easy doing this though isn't it You're doing great, Dad. hey thanks very much um, macho man much a man super, super macho man 253929er fin blade thanks for the donation man here's a joke dad a skeleton walked into a bar and ordered a beer and a mop he walked into a bar and ordered a, a skeleton walked into a bar and he ordered a beer and a mop man i don't get that what am I missing here, chat? He walked into a bar and ordered a beer and a mop. Think hard. Okay, let, let me put my thinking face on. Hang on a sec. <coughs> a beer and a mop. And you know what? I'm not even thinking about the joke. Like, I used that whole time to instead think about how much I can't wait to sing um, some tunes with uh, with Ravs in a bit. What's this up here? It looks like we found some potential caves up here. I found something. I can't wait. Yeah, me too, Erica. I can't wait to great, fucking do some. Hey, you big bastard! How's it going? Duets. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Um, Gerard, thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it, Gerard. Thanks. I'm doing good. I hope you're also doing good, Gerard. Okay, we broke into some sort of like little. Um, like crawls ah look at this goes all the way up here all right we'll definitely check this out anytime you find a mine you just gotta you just gotta do it right you gotta know when to mine it know when to climb it and know when to walk away oh where the deal it's done I tried to do that on Twitch Sings, but it turns out I don't actually know the song that well. Like, I, I know the chorus only, and that's about it. Oh, look at this. It's weird and wacky. It comes down here, but leads to nowhere. It's kind of fucked up. <clears throat> okay, well, I will ge we'll keep it lit up and then just leave it like that. I mean, there was a lot of iron, so at least that's something. But it turns out the rest of it is just a bunch of bunk. It was just a whole bunch of bunk. We need to get some, like, better uh, book enchants. Hey, Dad, I hope your break was good. Oh, it was What great. did you have for lunch? I had... Actually, I don't care. Okay. I had my mum shit in my mouth for lunch, and it was delicious. Also, try sleeping in the nether. I heard it's completely harmless. The skeleton has no internal organs, so the beer would end up on the floor when the skeleton drinks it. So the mop would be needed to clean up after the event. R right. And 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 What the fuck is that? <laughs> to 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 be on Suman, thanks for the donation. Joke over joke goes over his head, thanks for the donation as well. That joke is fucking garbage. Like it sucks. That's a real shitter. A 
That's a real shitty joke. It's not even remotely funny. Uh, jokes were meant to be funny. Glad I didn't get that joke. Man, I'm glad I didn't waste any more brain power on that either. What a waste of time. Oh, fuck. That was close. That was real close. What do we got here? Some sort of shaft? God, see, see, look what you've done now. I broke my concentration. I almost died in my hardcore run. We would have lost all this progress as well. Jeez. Small brain, act like big brain, and make a bad joke. You know what? It's true. I didn't get it. Okay. I never... I. That's like a... All right. You know what? Fine. I'm dumb. I didn't get the joke. Okay. We'll just leave it at that. Hey, thanks very much for joke goes over his head for explaining it to me. Thanks. You're doing great, Dad. Fuck okay. you, Dad. That joke was great. Yeah. JK, I love you. <laughs> JK. JK, I love you. Oh, hang on. There's some sort of mine shaft here. And I I intend to find it. It's gotta be like right above us, pretty much. Sips, you're yeah. a joke, you fucking nutsack. Fucking embarrassing. Just kidding, love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. That's so mean. That's so mean. True though. It's true. I am a joke. I am a joke and a nutsack. Where is this? Wow! I tweeted at you, big boy. Something nice. was in my mailbox yesterday. Wow! Best eighty-seven cents spent ever. Something was in your mailbox. Oh, I don't have my shield on. Why don't I have the shield on? Jesus! God. Things are getting pretty intense at the Caillou house. Oh, good. He's dead. Yowzers. Whoa. Where are you going? He dropped a p potato. Well, God, there's a lot of bad guys here. Don't worry. Nothing old Sipsy can't handle. Man, this is where we feel alive, right? Back in the... Trenches of uh, Vietnam. Fuck. Fucking good old trench warfare. Jesus Christ. Where did he come from? Fucking. He's dead. Okay, good. Alright. Let's, uh. Let's sort this out a bit so that I don't have to, like, constantly drop down and die every time I want to come up here and have a peek. Let's get some torches here, too. I think this is the same ravine, but a bit further on from all the other junk. Wait, is it, though? Where's this? Where's, like, all the stone outcroppings that I made? Maybe they're not here, because this is a different spot. Wonderful. Pull ahead. You're doing great, Dad! <laughs> Hey dad, here's something pretty funny. I love you more than my real dad, XOXO. Thanks very much. Um, fart, fart, liquor, poop, boner, face, boner, boner butt, 69. Uh, nope, it's Kai. Thanks so much for the donation. I appreciate it. Full ahead, thanks for the bits as well. Just like the mine in Spaceman, eh? Yeah, I guess so. Wubinski, thanks for the bits. Officer Cop, thanks for the bits. Finblade, thanks again for the donation as well. Zypher, FW, thanks for the gift subs. Um, thanks very much. Do the crits on the zombies. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do the crits on the zombies. I should have uh, really done the crits on the zombies. Oh, efficiency 4. That's what I'm talking about. It's fucking really good. Just go fucking Lord of the Rings on these on these asses. Um, should I get some? I guess I should, right? Grab some of this, and then I can grab that uh, iron from up here. 
Fuck. It's loose though. It's loose. We gotta be careful with this lava. Look at that. Jesus. Where's the source? There's a source in here. Case. Safety first, right? Slow and steady wins the race second, but safety first. I don't think the ravines are quite the killer that you guys made them out to be. If you if you play it safe. You gotta play it real safe though. Like I am right now. It's about as safe as you can get. Really safe. Not taking any risks and stuff, you know? Placing torches left, right, and center. Keeping it all lit up nice. Okay, let's get some... Look at this, like, perfectly cut out. Cool effect. What a cool effect. Keep it lit. Says the guy who died in self-made mineshaft. <laughs> Come on. Come on, that was what that was my what my second attempt. We're on our fifth attempt now. We've learned lots. We've grown. We've grown as uh, as people throughout, too, right? It's been really good. Okay. What was that? Where'd he go? I just knocked that child zombie so far, I don't even know where he went. What was that fucking noise? Uh. <laughs> I... I yote him. <laughs> I yote him out of existence. Right. True, I did. True, he has been... He's, he has been... Uh, yote. Where did he go, though? Where the fuck is he? Is he in... Oh! <laughs> he's, he's down here, he's trapped! How did you get in there? Okay, well, I'll gladly kill him. It's hilarious. He sounds real mad. Well, I would be too. Because you got to imagine, all these guys, it's a hardcore game, so all the bad guys are playing hardcore as well. So they only get one chance to shine. Um, and they do not want to miss their chance to blow because this opportunity knocks once in a lifetime. So that's why they lose themselves to the uh, water and the lava and also they never let it go. And because um, they only get one shot and they can't miss their chance to blow because this opportunity knocks once in a lifetime. Bam, 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 bam. Do you know what? I'll tell you a true story, chat. I've never in my life listened to that full song ever once. Right, and uh, already I know all hey, of those Sips. lyrics. How? I have some more shit I need to get off my mind. My yeah. real dad has cancer. And has had it for nine years. Right. He recently told me that he feels like he is going to pass away any day now and I don't know what to do. May I ask for some advice? Man, I... Okay, I thought you were going to say something about eating your mum's shit or somebody shitting in your mouth. So I wasn't ready to, to dish out real advice. Um, look at... Man, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what I would do in a similar situation. That sucks. That's got to be really hard. Um, I guess one thing you could do, though, is... Um, uh, and one thing that, like, uh, people should do more of is... Uh, sorry, I got, like, some fucking Vaseline on my nose. You know, like, when you have a cold and you've been blowing your nose a lot and it gets all dry around your nostril? I had to put some Vaseline on my nostril. Uh, not on my dick. Um, if if your dad is truly um, sick and about to pass away, I think uh, I think one thing that's nice is uh, to reassure him that um, it, he was a good dad, you know, so that when he does pass away, he'll pass away knowing that he was a good dad, 
Uh, he loves his uh, son or daughter very much as well. And you can maybe say, you know what, Dad, uh, here's a couple of things that you did that meant a lot to me. And uh, I, will, I will carry those things with me for the rest of my life, Dad. Uh, and once, when you're gone, uh, I, I'll always remember these things that you did for me. I, I, think that, I think that would be nice, right? That's a nice way for somebody to, to, to pass uh, out, of, out of this world and into, into the next, right? Knowing that the people that they made, uh, they, were, they had an impact on, a positive impact on, right? Um, because from the point of view of somebody um, with parents, obviously, that's one thing. The relationship that way is what it is. But the relationship between um, like a parent and a child is so different, isn't it? Like you, um, you never know if you're doing it right. You know what I mean? Like uh, and you never know how your kids are going to turn out. You just hope that, you know, you just hope that your kids are going to be happy and successful or, you know, whatever, you know, mo mostly happy. And you, you know, you don't want like, uh, like experiences in life to 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 sort of like fuck them up or traumatize them or anything like that it's all like you're you're just constantly sort of protecting them from things right and i don't know i just feel like it's a nice thing it would be a nice thing to know that like that person that you spent so long protecting and you know raising and trying to like give advice to and stuff um you know, realize that that's what you were doing. I feel like if I was like on the verge of passing away and my kid said something like that to me, I'd be like, that's great, good. Like my job is done. Like I did my job, right? Why is life so hard? It, it just is. Hmm. It's so sad that the zombie just killed himself. Yeah, I know it's a tough one. Uh, I don't know if you're trolling or not, but um, but I I, I hope that uh, it's not too bad for you. Uh, it's got to be really hard, like uh, like dealing with like the death of um, any sort of friend, family member. Like the older you get, the the more it happens as well, right? Like I've had colleagues pass away, which is hard. Uh, I went to I, I went to a funeral for a colleague whose son passed away. He was like one years old. That was hard. Like it, like dealing with loss like that is just, it's always tough. There's no easy way out of it, but. Sips is my therapist, you fucking fucks. And thank you for the kind words. Hey, well, thank you. I really you. appreciate this, Sips. Gerard, I, I hope that it's not too bad, man. I hope that, I, I hope that you can like just, you know, be happy and just, just try to remember your dad for like the good times and stuff. And uh, it sucks. I mean, it's going to happen to everybody eventually, but there's just no fucking, there's no accounting for it, right? Just It's just going to suck no matter what. You're the best, Sips. Great advice. Oh, thanks. Well, geez, I'm not really, like, good at, like, advice like this, but thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks, Geeksy. And Gerard, stay strong, buddy. But, and if you need help, we're always here, chat and everything. Uh, if you ever need to just have a cheap laugh at like my expense or whatever, just let me know. Okay? I stream every day, so I'm always here, ready, <laughs> ready for the for the drooling hordes to to make fun of me and call me stupid for not getting that dumb skeleton joke for Christ's sake. Come on, chat. Now, that joke was garbage. It was total garbage. Except tomorrow, yeah, that's true. Tomorrow I'm not here. It's true. I gotta do some other stuff tomorrow. Hmm. You agree with that? It was a really easy joke, though. A perfectly valid joke. To lighten the mood, Mount Babby just shit all over me. Less than Terry. What? What Babby shit all over you? Oh, you're oh sloth, your new Babby. Well, at least it's like those like buttery uh, newborn shits, right? It's not like. It's not like they just like had uh, some bad chips from the chip shop and have shit all over you. Like those are far worse. Fuck me. Cause you're pretty much dealing with an adult shit at that point, right? There's no way around it. It's just the way it goes. All right, who wants some? I'm ready. Van. 
Sleep now in the fire, you bitches. Ah, yes. Jesus Christ. Fucking all over the place. Hey, Sips need some advice. We're taking it from I all angles. I hired this guy Ronald to work at my Surrey Garden Center, and he just constantly goes back and furiously jacks it while I'm left to the customers. Really? I've also caught him multiple times letting people shit in his mouth. Jesus. What do? Man, fucking give that guy a raise. You know what the best thing you can do with a guy like that? Promote him and give him a raise far away from you, and then other people have to deal with it, and it's funnier, right? To know that other people have to deal with that guy and it's not you who has to deal with him, right? Don't just fire him. Keep him around. But keep him far away from you. Some more good advice. Man, I got all the good advice today. It's, in it's insane, right? No? Maybe? Where are they dropping down from? I think they've spawned in on all these like little cliffs and stuff. It's very dangerous down here. I gotta make it safer for me. I think just making a couple of little barricades like this will go a long way. Because look, they're still creeping around here. Oh. Get out. Get out. Uh, oh. Nice. Whoa. It's always that, like, that double. Uh, yo! Alright. We're in great shape here, boys. We just need to light it up a little bit down here. So that nothing spawns in again. And then we control the ravine. Get out. Get out. Get out of town, Buster Brown. Hang on a second. I gotta check my phone. Hang on. Let me check this quick. What? Oh, okay. No, it's fine. It's a false alarm. I thought it was a, a non false I like these little... Every once in a while you find these like secret subterranean gardens or whatever. They're really cool, aren't they? They always look nice. Is my inventory full? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. All right, it looks like we've got some somewhere to explore down here, though. What could be down here? More zombies. Oh shit! There's like little kid zombies here too. Oh, fucking yeah! Let's kill this little kid one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get him. Yeah, yeah, one more! Come on, shoot! No! I almost had my music disc. Oh, my sh shield is taking a beating. I, I had the stupid bow and arrow out, too. I should have had the shield, right? What a bitch. God, look at this place. This is a great cave. Oh. Man, there's so many skeletons down here. Can you enchant a shield? No, you can't. Okay, potatoes I don't need. I mean, I could just eat this potato. We'll go down there in a minute. It's a bow here, but it's not enchanted. It's a really nice cave. Enter code SIPS on CougarLife.com to get a discount. Yeah, that's right. You can put unbreaking on a shield. Can you? You can't straight up enchant it. What? You use a book on it. You can put mending books and unbreaking books on shields. All right, okay. So you have to enchant it on an anvil, but you can't do it... Um, you can't do it straight up, like, from the, um, from the enchanting table, is what I meant to say. So, am I right about that? Have we not had any gold? Okay, I gotta start getting rid of some stuff. Like, all this cobble can go. 
in a minute. Actually, I'll just chuck it all over here. Actually, let's fucking put some of it down to make this, like, smoother. Except not that bit there. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing, chat? Okay. Alright, let me get this gold. I don't even know why I'm collecting gold still. I guess we need it for power rails eventually, if we ever want to do more stuff with powered rails. But otherwise, what? For what? So this, this adventure started from... <clears throat> us hearing zombies above strip mining, right? We heard bad guys and we went to investigate and now we're here. Far, far away from home with a full inventory. Okay. I'll grab the redstone. It's because it's like harder to come by than diorite, which is fucking everywhere, right? We don't really want to leave too much stuff behind because we may never come back down here again. Macho Man Randy Savage needs a golden handle. You might be right. You might be right. I think the skeleton that was down here despawned. Oh, this is a beauty of a cave, too. A real nice one. Oh my god. This efficiency 4 is incredible on this. Uncle Sips, yeah. did you ever see my Triforce mug on r slash Triforce? I spent a lot of time making it and was kinda sad to not have any of you three see it. R also, I didn't know that you were a prized motivational speaker hashtag Nobel Prize. Man, I didn't even know that there was a Triforce subreddit. So, uh, I'm afraid to say no, I don't think any of us have seen it. I don't think any of us realized that slash r slash Triforce even exists. So, um, no I didn't. Can you tweet it at me? If you tweet it at me, we'll be able to see it, and then uh, we can um, we can let you know what we think. Just tweet it at me, okay? Can I briefly explain how I made a big map? Um, I just added a lot of paper to the map, accidentally, and it became super big. I think you just keep adding paper to it. That's why we got some sugarcane growing next to our house for more paper, because eventually we want to have the the biggest map. Oh, look at this. It just like bursts into here. Alright, I'm just going to keep dropping cobblestone because fuck it. We don't need cobblestone. We have tons of it. We need this other stuff, right? As much of it as we can get. We need the good stuff. Sasha862, holy crap. Thanks so much for the uh, 25 gift subs. That's huge. Thank you very much. That is huge. Thank you, Sasha. Um, I'm sorry if my uh, my advice with coping with death was kind of shitty, but I I I don't know. I mean, like it's a I, I don't know what you can really say to somebody who's about to lose somebody. It's just the worst, isn't it? Like this, just it, that that is the 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 worst thing about life, isn't it? You get like you get this beautiful interesting planet to live on and you got like all these nice people that you can meet and food that you can eat and stuff and then one day it's all done <laughs> like one way or another right it's like there's no way around it it's just it's just shitty it's just a shitty deal it's a it's like a it's like the best death sentence you could ever hope for i suppose if you look at it that way you're like you're on a you're on a a, a ticking ticking time clock from the moment that you exit your mum's um, vajazzle, or whatever she would like to call it. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah. You're going to live forever. Nice. Me too. Yeah. That's my plan anyway. I plan to, um, I, I plan to live forever by not exercising and not eating well 
and uh, vaping and um, and spending a lot of time sitting down as well. I'm hoping that all those things combined will see me live in a long ass time. But we'll, we'll have to see. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> and trust me, I eat a lot of pudding. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm dead. I'm so screwed. I've made some bad lifestyle choices. Real bad ones. Real bad ones. But, I mean, at the same time, you gotta enjoy life too, right? Like, sure, you could go, like, on a... On, on, uh, on a no-carb diet or whatever, but... Man, that's no fun. That's fucking garbage. Like, I wanna eat... All of the carbs. Give them all to me. Every single one. I'll eat them. Uh, they're the best. They're so good. Garbage. Yeah, pizza. Yeah, yeah. All of the milk. Yeah, yeah. Living an extra five years is shitty anyways. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to live until like... I don't want to get to the point where... Oh my god, that is so scary. Fuck you for scaring me like that. Piece of shit. I don't want to get to the point where like... I'm alive, yeah, but... You know, like my dick doesn't work anymore and stuff. Like, fuck that. I want to... As long as I'm living and breathing, I want my, my dick to work perfectly. Okay, just at, at the moment it stops working perfectly, I'm done. I'm out of here. Okay, I really, I really respect my dick a lot. I want what's best, <laughs> want what's best for my dick as well. So, and I'm constantly thinking about it too. So yeah, you just got to get a robo dick. You respect that? Yeah, me too. I got a lot of respect for that. I had a lot of time for a, a guy who looks after his, his hot rod. You know what I mean? God damn. There's fucking bad guys everywhere here. Come on. Oh yeah. Right into the drink. The the drink where there's there's no coming back from that drink. Jesus Christ. It's just like another ravine down here. We go into one pretty much conquer it I would say and we've just stumbled into another one insane take that and that nice does the XP get eaten by lava not quite okay, good. oh my god I'm trying to fight me. There's a lot of bad guys down here. Okay, let me regroup a little bit. Um, we should probably make our way topside soon. We have a lot of stuff on us. A lot of stuff that's worth hanging on to, right? Oh, shield. Huh, huh. Yeah, we're going to need to make a new one when we go up, too. This one's uh, almost had it. So there's still some chasm up here that we can light up. But this seems to be the end of it. Oh, look, there's a skinny dude up there, too. How did he get up there? Maybe I should have brought my map. How are we going to get out of this, this jam? Oh, look, this leads into another little... I was going to start digging up to get out, but... I can't resist all this coal. So much of it. Holy shit. Coal for days, I know, right? Lots. But the you get the XP too, right? So it's good. Level 31, we can do another enchant. Try to finally get some of these enchants that we need, right? Actually, the, um, the enchant that we got on the shovel was really nice. I'm happy with that. We could do with having a better pickaxe. Get some efficiency four on a pickaxe, we'd be laughing. Maybe we could get an enchant on the pickaxe that's actually called laughing, and every time you use it, the pickaxe laughs, and then we would really be laughing. No? Too spooky? What level are we on now? 34. It's a long way up.
I have no idea where we are in relation to the base either. Hopefully close. We're just gonna have all these like stupid staircases everywhere, right? Um, what can I drop? More cobble? leaving so much stuff in here too. You're doing great, perilous man. pits. It's true, mine are. They are perilous pits. Hey, thanks very much, LECG. Thanks for the donation. Hi, Sips. My first boyfriend introduced me to Mahogany Doors and I've been a fan ever since. Thank you for being more constant in my life than, my bo than any boyfriend. Wow. Hey, no problem. Um... I'm here all week, <laughs> except for tomorrow. Sorry for the uh, for the for the slight inconsistency. Uh, let me guess. I bet your boyfriend was still your boyfriend on a Wednesday, but I'm not going to be here on a Wednesday, so it's like you know, kind of the same thing, right? Or not really? No, you forgive me. Okay, good. I think we're making a staircase right to that skinny guy. It's a long way up. I think it's easier to just do like a water elevator back up. On hardcore, that's gotta be so super dangerous though, in case you fall, right? You don't love have you, a pool below it too. Hey, I love you too. Thanks very much, Gerard, for the 82 pounds and 76 pence. Man, that's a huge one. Thanks so much, man. I really hope that uh, it all goes well with your dad. Uh, it's, that's a, it's a real shitter. It's a real shitter. I hope it... I hope everything... I hope you're gonna be alright. Okay, skinny guy is right there. I mean, we could try to go get him. Um, am I equipped for this? Kinda. I mean... If it's just him by himself, he's not too bad, right? If we put up this last torch in this corner, then I can get a full stack of this stuff. Whoa. Well, that wasn't too bad at all. Uh, I guess when you try to shoot an arrow at him, he just really freaks out. He does not like that. Oh my god, look at all the creepers over here. Jesus Christ. You're doing great, okay, we can't really go across there. There's been a lot to digest here today. So here's a stinker to lighten it up, lads. Right. My psychiatrist told me I was crazy and I said I want a second opinion. He said, okay, you're ugly too. <laughs> nice. That's good. What a, what a great psychiatrist. Very classy. Very classy. Okay. Hang on a second here. So that's another skinny guy down. It didn't turn out to be that... That much of a of a tree fiddy, tree fiddy. Um, Gerard, thanks so much for the uh, for the thirteen pounds and fifty pence as well. I guess that's like a hundo now, right? It's rounded up to a hundo. Baron two, thanks so much for the bits as well. Gerard, thanks for the hundo, man. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked that joke as well. That was a pretty good one. A second opinion. I asked my psychiatrist for a second opinion, and he said, I'll give you a second and a third and a fourth and a fifth opinion. You smell, and you're ugly, and your breath stinks, and you got a stupid face, and you got a horse face, and you laugh like a horse. And then I cried. That was awful. What a thing to say to somebody. This is awful. Uh, is there water? Yep, there's water. 
Well, we're out. Ah, look how close we are to home. Okay, if we want to go back down into that cave, we can mark it. But fuck, I don't think we need to. Is that my nerd pole? No, it's not. Okay, we're closer to home than I thought. That's really close. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> we'll just have to remember all of these stupid little um, breaches that I've created over time. Let's not get hit by lightning while we're out here. Try not to. Try to get some hot enchants going. Hey, uh, Salty Scroat, thanks so much for the five bucks. Hey, Sips, you could say life without carbs is garbage. Ha 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 you could say that. Sorry, I just wanted to take the number two spot for donations and... And... Hey, no problem. That's fine. And Gerard, thanks again for the 10 bucks, man. Are you in the number two spot then? You got to be by now, right? You should be. It's a, it's a crime if you're not. Thanks. I appreciate it, Gerard. Again, thank you so much. All right. That's going to be a lot of iron in our blast furnaces. And meanwhile, all this other stuff will just do its thing here too, right? Let's put this in here. We can smelt these down. That can be sorted as well. Uh, like put that back. Oh, yeah. We keep doing this, right? Potato, rotten flesh. We've got 22 arrows. I swear we shot more arrows than we created, right? I put it in the sorter. I put flint in the sorter. Uh oh. Where? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Thanks. I don't know what would have happened there. Okay, flint does not go in the sorter, that's for sure. Uh, I've got 64 bars of iron on me as well. Let's see about this enchant. And probably sleep as well. Is the sun setting? No, it's not. It's fine. And? and Gerard, thanks again, man. Jesus. I guess this is you just donating to get to that the top spot or the, the second spot. And, <laughs> and, fair enough. Thank you very much, man. Uh, all right, boots. Let's see, boots. Protection four. Depth Strider one. Protection four is pretty good, right? Uh, should we go for it? For, on fresh boots. Should make some fresh boots. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, man. Whoa. What's up? How's it going? Ma Mac R West. Thanks for the bits, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, wah. Why is my map so zoomed out? I made one and it's really small. Uh, you, I think you got to keep adding paper to it. I think that's the, the key is to add more paper to it. Do we go for Protection 4 on our boots? Protection 4 is great, apparently. Because my PP is small. You should put a chest at the end of the sorter for anything that has... Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Just a, one chest at the end. Yes. So we'll go for this on diamond boots and just hope that we get some other stuff. Always wear protection for... Hey, what's up, Ravs? How you doing? Ravs, are you going to stick around for a bit? We're going to do your duets pretty soon. Well, not soon. Like, uh, like maybe at, like, 6 we'll do them or something like that. No? Yes. Do it. Hey, Sips, give me more of those sweet inhales. And I forgot what I wanted to say. But him at number one now. Gerard, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. You know you need feather falling on your boots. Yes, I know. I do, I do need feather falling on my boots. 